What's up guys, I'm Ace, and today we're going to be going over headshots in Black Ops 4. This is something a lot of people have been wondering about. When do headshots count, and is high caliber worth it? So we're actually going to be looking, there are several guns in this game that do not need high caliber for headshots to count and make a difference. And this is really significant this time around as well, because our time to kill in general is slower, our flinch tends to be lower than previous Call of Duty games, and therefore we're not punished as much for going for headshots, and it's often needed in order to get a decent time to kill against some of the other faster killing guns. So first up, we're going to look at all of the situations where you don't need high caliber and headshots will be helping you, at least the practical situations. And after that, we will be taking a look at the high caliber attachment so we can have a look at where it actually works for you and which guns it's most effective on. But let's start it off, like I said, without the high caliber attachment. This is a little bit of a heavy topic to be covering. I tried to represent it the best that I could where it makes sense, and I'm going to go through it individually. So hopefully you guys can stick with me for this. But let's start off with the assault rifles without high caliber. The first one, and this is the big one, that benefits from headshots without the high caliber attachment is the ICR. And this is one of the reasons that this gun can be so melty and so powerful in relation to the other guns in the game. It's simply due to its headshot ability. So without headshots, the ICR is normally a five shot kill out to 50 meters, which is gonna be the vast majority of your gunfights in this game. All it takes is one single headshot, keeping in mind no attachments necessary, one single headshot within that 50 meter range will make this a four shot kill. So three shots to the body, one shot to the head, you've got yourself a kill. This significantly reduces your time to kill and makes this gun an absolute beast. So if you're ever using the ICR, all it takes is that one bullet to the head mixed in with your body shots and you'll no longer be leaving people with two health after hitting them four times. Next up we have the Vapor and this also benefits from headshots within certain ranges without the high caliber attachment needed. As you can see here, with the Vapor from 0 to 25 meters, this is where you get the exact same damage profile as the ICR, and therefore one single headshot mixed in with your body shots will make it a 4 shot kill instead of the standard 5 shot kill. Keep in mind also, the Vapor does fire a little bit faster than the ICR, so this will give you an even faster time to kill than you would get with the ICR. And another thing that's really important, and I mentioned this in yesterday's video with the long barrel attachment, which I will link down below if you guys have missed that one, you can actually double this headshot range by putting long barrel on the Vapor. No high caliber necessary, but when you do put high caliber on there, you do see quite a big difference, and we'll have a look at that towards the end of the video. Just know though, you don't necessarily need high caliber to get consistent headshots with the Vapor. So finally, in the assault rifle category, we have one more gun that gets a benefit from headshots without the high caliber attachment. This is the Rampart. With the Rampart, you don't gain any benefit within its maximum damage ranges, so up close you don't get any benefit, but at the longer ranges, beyond 30 meters, all you need is one headshot mixed in with your body shots, and it will now be a 4-shot kill instead of a 5-shot kill. So it does make a difference if you're landing that one headshot at longer ranges. So those are the only assault rifles currently that benefit from headshots without high caliber. Now let's move on to LMGs. There's actually a couple LMGs that get some sort of a benefit from headshots, but it's a little bit different here. First up, we have the Titan, and with the Titan, it's a standard 4-shot kill at any range that you'll be able to find in this game practically. But if you hit 3 shots to the head, so all 3 of your bullets to the head, you will get a kill. So this mostly applies to those really close range situations. It will be beneficial to aim directly for the head. If you feel confident that you can land 3 bullets in a row to the head, you will be reducing your time to kill with the Titan. The other LMG that gets a benefit is the Hades, and with this one, it's a standard 5-shot kill at any practical range that you'll find in this game. But if you land just two of those shots to the head and then two to the body, it will be a four shot kill. So you don't necessarily have to hit every single bullet, but if you start shooting them towards their neck, for instance, and you get two body shots in their neck, and then you hit your second two shots to the head, you will end up getting a kill with the Hades. Next up, we have tactical rifles. And with this one, the Augur is the only one that gains any sort of a benefit for headshots without the high caliber attachment. And as you can see here, this only applies at the longer ranges. So it's a standard 3-shot kill out to about 43 meters. And then beyond that, it's going to be a 4-shot kill. All you need beyond that 43 meter range is one headshot mixed in with two body shots, and it will still be a 3-shot kill. So it's definitely beneficial at those longer ranges if you can manage it to hit one of your shots to the head. Now the final gun in this game that currently gets a practical benefit from headshots without the high caliber attachment is actually one of the pistols. This is the Strife. With the Strife, out to about 20 meters or so, it's normally a 4-shot kill, but if you land 3 shots directly to the head, which is viable within really close ranges, you will be able to get a very fast kill. 
This is something that you should definitely be taking advantage of if you're using the Strife. Definitely aim for the head. It's quite an accurate pistol. And in those close range situations, it is very practical to hit three headshots in a row. Now beyond that, from approximately 20 meters to 37 and a half meters, you will still be gaining a benefit from hitting just one headshot mixed in with body shots. It's normally a five shot kill, but three shots to the body, one shot to the head will end up being a kill. Beyond 37 and a half meters though, don't bother with headshots. They're not gonna be helping you at all with this pistol. So those are all the guns that currently get a benefit from headshots without even having to use the high caliber attachment. Keep in mind, there are a couple SMGs where if you hit literally every single bullet to the head, like six shots in a row to the head, then you can gain a benefit from headshots, but those simply aren't practical. It's not practical to hit six shots in a row at medium or longer ranges with an SMG. So I did decide to leave those out of this video. I stuck with the ones that are a bit more on the practical side for you. Now let's get into the high caliber attachment. So the high caliber attachment, just like with previous Call of Duty games, it increases the headshot multiplier that you get. The standard headshot multiplier without it is 1.1, which is very low. Whereas with high caliber, the standard multiplier is actually very, very high this year at 1.75. It almost doubles your damage to the head when using the high caliber attachment. But keep in mind, there are some outliers here and we will be going over those individually. So let's kick it off once again with the assault rifles and with the AR category, we have two guns that you can use high caliber on. These are the Vapor as well as the Rampart. Now the Vapor does get that standard 1.75 times multiplier, which means it is very powerful on this gun. One single headshot mixed in with body shots will always reduce the number of shots it takes to kill with the Vapor as long as you have high caliber equipped. But an added benefit is from 0 to 25 meters, if you hit just 2 shots to the head and 1 shot to the body, you will get a kill. That's a 3 shot kill with an assault rifle, which is insanely fast for this game. Your time to kill is literally going to be like half that of what some of the other guns are in this game, which is completely unbelievable. So the high caliber attachment on the Vapor is incredibly powerful. And the big part about that too is if you put long barrel on there, you can double this range. So then basically at any range that you'll practically find yourself in with the Vapor where you would typically challenge somebody, all it takes is two shots to the head, one shot to the body, and you'll be getting the fastest kill that you can think of in this game, aside from with a sniper rifle, which is a one-shot kill. As for the Rampart, we actually have the lowest high caliber multiplier on the Rampart at just 1.3. And this still means that at any range, all it takes is one headshot mixed in with your body shots to reduce the number of shots to kill, which is quite powerful. So within the standard four shot kill range, just two shots to the body, one shot to the head will end up being a kill. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about high caliber two, because there are two tiers of high caliber for the Rampart. And a lot of people have been wondering, do these stack and make a higher multiplier for the head? No, they don't. So you still get the exact same headshot multiplier if you're running both high caliber one and high caliber two. All High Caliber 2 does is it extends that multiplier down into the chest. So this means you will also be getting that 1.3 times multiplier to chest shots, which means once again, just one shot to the chest mixed in with the other shots. You can shoot them twice in the leg and once in the chest, and you will be getting a three shot kill with the Rampart. So it is still very, very powerful, but just keep in mind the multiplier isn't quite as extreme as we see with the Vapor. Moving on to the LMG category, there's only one LMG that you can put high caliber on currently, and this is the VKM, and this one gets a 1.4 times multiplier to the head with high caliber. What this means is one single headshot won't reduce the number of shots it takes to kill, so it won't go from a three shot kill to a two shot kill by just hitting one headshot. You have to hit both shots to the head. If you hit two shots to the head with high caliber equipped, you will be getting yourself a kill. So it's not quite as useful on this gun because you literally can't miss the head if you want high caliber to really be working for you. But at the end of the day, especially in close range situations, this can potentially help you get those faster kills. Getting into the tactical rifles, we could use high caliber on both the auger as well as the swordfish. And with the auger, we get a 1.7 times multiplier, which means once again, just one headshot mixed in with a body shot will end up getting you a kill out to 43 meters with this gun. So it's very powerful on the auger and keep in mind, of course, you can use high caliber too as well, which makes this even more powerful. Then we have the swordfish, which is kind of a similar story. It's a 1.7 times multiplier, but we only have access to high caliber one on the swordfish. So you won't be benefiting from chest shots at all. But once again, you will be reducing the number of shots it takes to kill by one just by landing one single headshot. Now getting into the SMG category, there's one single SMG that you can use high caliber on currently. This is the MX-9. And with this, once again, we get that 1.75 times multiplier, which is very powerful for the MX-9. In all of its ranges, just mixing one headshot in will reduce the number of shots to kill. But from 0 to 20 meters, 
If you manage to land two shots mixed in with your body shots, you can actually reduce the number of shots it takes to kill all the way down to four instead of six. So that's really all it takes is two shots to the body, two shots to the head with the MX-9 between zero and 20 meters, which is very practical with this gun because it's quite accurate. And you're going to have an extremely fast time to kill, somewhat like what we saw with the Vapor if you land two headshots. So once again, high caliber can be very powerful on the MX-9 as long as you're landing those headshots, especially if you land two headshots up close. So finally, we have one more gun in Black Ops 4 that we can use high caliber on, and this is one of the pistols. This is the Mozu. With the Mozu, once again, we get a 1.75 times multiplier, which just means at all ranges, it's going to reduce the number of shots it takes to kill by one if you land a single headshot. This is actually pretty significant up close, especially because it's got a standard three shot kill range up close. And with just one body shot and one headshot, this will be a two shot kill, which is a very fast killing gun for Black Ops 4. Those are all the situations where headshots matter, both with as well as without high caliber. And of course, if you guys haven't tried it, especially on the Vapor as well as the MX-9, throw that high caliber attachment on and aim for the head. You'll probably be very surprised at just how fast you're able to melt enemies. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.